Alrighty, what is up guys? My name is Mr. Beefy Cube and welcome back to another episode of Quickie, uh, Minecraft Quickie today. Um, I thought this series wouldn't be continuing, but thank goodness to uh, Agent Miniman who suggested today's episode topic, which is combination locks. Uh, you may have seen them or heard of them, so right now you'll notice you can walk right into this base here. Let me just for, for figure of speech, there's a base right there. You can just walk right in, but if you don't want someone to walk right in, you know, you need to have some base security, right? So this will let you take care of it. I can just not have that in my hand and just like flick a bunch of them and there. So it's it's not allowed to get in. So there's no way you can get through this without guessing the right combination. Well, of course, you just break the blocks, but that's not the point. You must input the correct number of combinations and there you go. The door opens and this is changeable to the redstone, which I'll guide you through in just a moment here. So, yeah. Alright, so to build this uh, contraption, not redstone, you're going to want a wall. Doesn't matter how long or short this wall is, you just need to have levers on it. And for sake of demonstration, I'm going to put a lamp in there because it's a lot faster than putting in a trap door or um, piston door. And then what you're going to want to do is put four or eight blocks right here. And then you're going to want to push. Uh, push. Uh, you're going to want to put some redstone torches right there. And then redstone dust going all the way down the line. And then doo -doo -doo -doo, connect it all up here. Very simple indeed, but you know, it's worth doing because some people don't know how to do. Uh, and boom, being better boom, it turns on. Now obviously if you do this, it's still going to turn on. So what's the deal with that? Well, figuratively, what you can do is put a... I think it's not gate I think it is and uh, keeps it off and this is currently the default position but let's say you want to program your code in let's just say one two one two we're just gonna put in a repeat right here and a repeat right there so in order to get this to turn on you want to turn off one and three or not oh yeah because it turns on that's right so we turn it off it turns off that doesn't matter what other combination you put it in it must be set to the right combination first to turn on so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of cookie I know it's kind of sucky but um, be sure to hit the like button if you liked it dislike it if you just liked it um, and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye